Hey everyone, today I'm going to be talking about Unity 3D, which is a game development software that runs the Unity game engine. Uh, this is a wonderful tool for getting your hands wet with game design, especially if you're new to it. It doesn't require uh, too much prior knowledge of programming, 3D modeling, or game development in general. If you're a student or maybe an independent game developer or anything like that, this is a wonderful tool to, to really start learning and to get yourself thinking like a game designer rather than a game player. Now, Unity is free for the basic version, which does a lot of things. Uh, you can pay to get the pro version, and if you're a student, you can actually get discounted prices for the pro version through certain retailers, which I can link to in the video description. Now, to see a list of uh, what you get from pro and what you get from basic, I'll also put a link to that in the video description. I won't go into it in the video, but feel free to check that out. So what I'm going to be doing is kind of going over how to create an extremely basic game in, in Unity and kind of how the software works in general to give you a good overview of what to expect. So basically what I'm going to do is create a controller that will allow us to move around in a 3D environment, maybe shoot some objects, hit an object, and destroy another object after we've brought its HP down to zero. Extremely basic stuff, but Hopefully it will kind of give you some insight into the game development process within Unity. So let me hop right into that. So this is what Unity looks like. To many people it will look very familiar if you're used to running any 3D modeling applications like Maya or 3D Studio Max, uh, etc. So here we have our viewport, which is where all our game objects will go. This is wonderful for level design. We have our uh, little perspective controller. I don't remember the official name for these guys, but allows you to rotate on XYZ axis or a perspective view. I'll stick on the perspective for now. We have some controls up here for, uh, you know, move, rotate, scale. We have our scene in our game view. There's nothing in our game right now, so we're not going to see anything there. Uh, we have the hierarchy, which is a list of all the game objects within our scene right now. We have the project uh, menu, which is a list of all of the assets that are within our project for us to use in our scene. We have the inspector, which as you can see once I click on something, fills up with all sorts of information. This is where the bulk of your work will be done in Unity. This is where you add scripts, uh, mesh filters, uh, audio sources, audio listeners, physics, all sorts of things. This is where you apply most of the things that will make your game run to your game objects. Now, I'm saying all these fancy words and you probably don't necessarily know what they mean. Unity kind of has a specific way about doing things. First of all, your project is basically a compilation of folder structures that are actually on your hard drive. So under our project here, I have standard assets. Uh, sounds, and some of these I made myself, like the game objects, scripts, and, and sounds folders. But all these correspond to a spot on your hard drive. Now, your standard assets come with Unity. These are all sorts of things like scripts, uh, light flares, character controllers. I mean, you see it all here. Terrains, water. All these things can be used within your game. So basically, your project is a giant collaboration of things that you can throw into your game to utilize. Now, a scene is, think of a scene as a level. In fact, I'm going to call scenes levels because that's just how I think of it as a gamer. So, your scenes are essentially all the levels within your game. A project is basically all the things available to you to make your game with. So really, if you were to make one whole game, it would just be one project that would have tons of different scenes in it, otherwise known as levels. So here, I've already got a couple scenes. So I have like a test level that I can open up and look at my terrain. So this is one level and it's not much. I haven't done too much with it, but I have a first person controller. I have a cube and a light source way out here that shines on my entire map. And I can turn that off if I want. And I can turn on my sky box, which kind of gives it a cool look and feel. But I'm not going to worry about that. So that's what a scene is. Now, I'm going to go ahead and create a new scene. The basic building block of everything in Unity is the game object. A game object is basically 
a point in 3D space that can have assets applied to it. So to kind of give you an idea of that concept, if you go up to Game Object and hit Create Empty, all it's going to do is make a spot in 3D space. It has no look, it has no scripts, it has nothing applied to it. But this little spot in 3D space can be so many things, it's ridiculous. So a game object can really be anything within Unity. I can go up into Components and I can add a mesh filter and a mesh render and I could give this a spherical shape and a fire texture and now I've got that. That came from nothing but a spot on 3D space. And then if I wanted to, I could start adding scripts to this. I could add all sorts of sound things to it. And, uh, you know, next thing I know, it's got fire sound coming out of it. Maybe it's got some smoke particles flying off of it. There's tons of different possibilities with an empty game object. You can really do anything. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that. And likewise, maybe I don't want to bother with all that, those little details. I can go into Create Other. And I can add particle systems, cameras, 3D text, directional lights, and maybe up front I'm just going to add a cube. Because I'm going to want to make a basic platform to start testing my game mechanics on. Now with my cube, I can see what it's got over here in the inspector. So it's got a transform location, it's got scale, it's rotation. It has a box collider, which tells this object how to interact with the physics of Unity, which are done by default through the engine. And it's got its own mesh filter, so it looks like a gray box. Not too appealing, but this is a perfect starting point. So now I can go up to my scale tool up here near the top left and click that. And maybe I'll scale my Y down a bit and push that guy down. And I'll scale my X out and my Z out. That's going to give me kind of a nice little area to work with here. So now that I have that, let's go ahead and add a controller to this that we can move around with. Alright, so now that I want to add a controller, what we're going to do is go ahead and go down here in your project and open up standard assets and open up the character controllers. These are standard that come with Unity and you bring them into your project once you create a new project. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to left click on first person control. I'm going to hold that down. I'm just going to drag it over here. And I can see I can really put it anywhere. I'm just going to drop it above my platform here. I'm going to take a look at that uh, by utilizing my perspective, or sorry, my viewport controls. If I hold down Alt and left click, I can rotate. If I hold down Alt and right click, I can dolly in and out. If I hold down Alt and my middle mouse, I can pan left, right, up, down. So use those to your advantage. If I have an object selected, like my first person controller, and I hit F, it's going to bring me on focus on that. So now, let me let me uh, go to a X view here. Okay, so he's hovering above it. Now, this is very primitive, but it's a good starting point. So it's only a capsule, but you know, later on, after we figure out the mechanics to a point, we can bring in models that you made in 3ds Max or Maya or whatever other program you're using. So Unity doesn't like have two, having two cameras. Our character controller comes with a camera, so I'm going to click on our main camera down here. I'm just going to delete that so we're not getting confused. So now if I hit play up here, this is going to initiate the game. Now, it's not too appealing up front. You know, it's just a block that I'm running on, and I can use WASD to move. I can jump, and then I can fall off the world and fall to infinity, and that's no good, but we'll get to that later. So if I click play again, I come back out, and I can look at this. So first thing I notice, all right, my, my area I'm running on is a bit too small. So I'm just going to scale this even larger. So I'm not going to worry too much about running around. So that looks pretty good. You know, from a far away point, my character controller looks kind of small. So now I play, I got a lot more area to run with. So that's just a minor detail. But now, so I don't got much going on. And another thing I noticed when I hit play, why is it so dark? Well, it's because we don't have a light source right now. So what I'm going to do is up here at the top, I'm going to turn on my light source. I'm going to see everything's really dark. I mean, really dark. I, I, can't, I can't even see my character. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to Game Object, Create Other. I'm going to create a directional light. A directional light is essentially a sun. It 
is going to provide a lot of light from any distance. So I'm just going to bring this way up here on my y-axis and maybe I'm going to move it over here and I'm going to rotate it so that it's casting light down on my character from this angle. So now if I play, oh, it's all bright again. And if I look around, I sh should be able to see it. I can't, so it must be a little too far, but I'm not going to worry about that. What matters is we have a light source as it is right now. We don't have a skybox or anything to make it look all pretty, but we have something to work with. So now that I have my first person controller and a light source so I can see what I'm doing, I think I'm going to go ahead and say that I want my first person controller to be able to shoot something when I press the left click button. So why don't I hop into that right now?